everyone, Andy here with eTrailer. Today we're going to take a look at the Putco Mudskins Mud Flaps. So with the Hex Shield series, as you can see here, they are extremely durable, and this is a legit mud flap. I mean, it does come down a little bit on the lower side, but with this construction, it's going to really protect your vehicle and other vehicles on the road. So these mud flaps do come in three finishes, a polished stainless, a brushed stainless, and in the black durable plastic that you can see here. Now one thing that's really nice about these is they do have a custom form fit on the inside so whenever it comes to needing that extra wheel or tire clearance if you were to upgrade to get a little bit bigger size you're going to have plenty of room on the inside of your wheel well. Now with these different holes throughout the mud flap on the mounting portion up here that's going to give you a lot of options when it comes to getting that custom fit or look that you're wanting. Now our customer here is going to be upgrading to a bigger wheel and tire package so we went ahead and moved the mud flap a little bit further off the vehicle that way whenever he does get that upgrade package it's going to fit pretty flush with his new set of wheels and tires. Now when you order these they do come in pairs of two so we went ahead and actually mounted two on the rear and two on the front and let's go ahead and take a look at that installation process now. Now to start our installation what we want to do first is in order to get our mounting bracket mounted into and behind the fender here we're going to have to remove this trim panel that way we can kind of have some space to work with when it comes to getting this secured behind there. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now with our eight millimeter socket here we're going to take out the top bolt Go ahead and remove this, and now we'll go ahead and take out our bottom bolt as well. And now with a T15 Torx bit, we're going to remove the two pieces of hardware here from underneath this trim panel. Alright, with this trim piece off now, we can go ahead and just kind of clean up the surface here on the inside of the fender. I'm just going to try and reach behind there too, just a little bit inside that lip to clean out any dirt. And we can go ahead and wipe on the outside here too. And right now I'm just going to test fit and make sure that our bracket is good to slide back behind our fender here. So just with a small punch I'm going to mark where our two holes are. And then from there I'm just going to drill a small recessed hole in order for the back of our mounting plate just to kind of sit in nice and flush with our fender liner. We're going to go ahead and replace our OEM trim piece here. And we'll just get this hardware not tightened down all the way, but just, just slightly. Now we are going to go ahead and install our mud flap. And I'm going to give ourselves a little bit of room from the bottom of the bed. And just kind of start these threads and we can get things adjusted after we get our hardware started. There's one on the top, and then we'll go ahead and do the one on the bottom of the mounting bracket. Now you will need to find the appropriate size Allen key for this hardware. And just go ahead and start to secure everything down before we move to our inside bolt that we're going to have to drill and get mounted as well. So as you can see, the mud flap is kind of canted inward with the inward most portion of the flap getting a little closer to the tire. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark and drill a hole through both of our inner fender liners. And that way it's going to kind of suck this inner portion in a little bit and just square everything up and just make it a nice secure fit. So as you can see here, here is the inner portion of the fender liner and here is Another fender liner on the back side that's a little bit thicker that's going to provide that brace whenever we want to bring this mud flap in and secure it down. So as you can see here, we went ahead and drilled our hole. Now let's get our hardware secured. Now with that inner bolt tightened, let's go ahead and finish tightening up these last two pieces of hardware. Now with our hardware all set, we can go ahead and remove our plastic wrapping here. And now we're ready to hit the road. So overall, a couple of my final thoughts are gonna be, I liked how straightforward and easy the installation process was. We just repeated the same process on all four corners on our vehicle here. Plus having that customizable option of getting the right fit and look that you want with your vehicle, that's gonna be a plus as well. And these things just look rough and rugged.
So that's going to do it for a look at the Putco Mudskins mud flaps.